guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I wanna to talk about organization because I love me some organization. But what's really fun about this video is that I've got a new format that I wanna try with different topics. So it's gonna be seven days to, and today is seven days to organization. So the way it will work is there'll be some prompts from Monday all the way through Sunday, and they will just be little things that you can implement into your life to maybe help you get a little bit more organized or whatever the topic is about. And the great thing about these videos is that there's also going to be a printable that you can download and you can follow along with. It's kind of like a checklist, so it will have little prompts for you to do on Monday through to Sunday, and and you can fill those out and hopefully that will help you as well. That will be linked in the description and on my blog, which by the way, quick side note, I've completely overhauled my blog and I'm kind of in love with it. So I would love for you guys to check it out. That will be linked down below as well. I've got a few different posts on there at the moment. I've got like my bedroom, some travel stuff. I've got loads of free desktop backgrounds if you wanna check those out. So have a look. I'm gonna be putting more stuff up there soon and yeah. Check it out. Now that the shameless self promo is over, let's get into the video. So Monday, this is a fresh start to the week and I think it's a great place to start by setting up your organization structure. Now you might already have these things in place, they're very simple, but I want you to do them nevertheless. The first thing is to set up a calendar. This could be paper form or on an app, like Google Calendar's great and iCal is great. Put in all of your appointments and dates that you need to remember in the future so that there's no crossover of things you've got to do. The second thing is to set up a notebook to have as a brain dump and to-do list areas. I think it's great to have one place where you put everything. Maybe you bullet journal, maybe it's a sketchbook, maybe it's just a rough old notebook. However you choose to do it, get it done. And you can put anything in this, like music you want to download, or films you want to watch, or just ideas that pop up in your head. Also, if you're more of a techie person, I've heard that Evernote is good, but I'm a paper person, so I like the notebook format. Speaking of tech, Tuesday is all about your devices, and I want you to do a little clear out today. The first thing to do is go and unsubscribe to all junk emails. Go ahead, unsubscribe, sweep them, whatever you have to do. Same goes for text messages if you get a lot of marketing messages too. Secondly, go through your phone and delete any unused apps that take up a lot of space. I think this just goes without saying, but what's the point in having apps that you don't use? They clutter up your phone and it's kind of annoying. And finally, back up your phone and your laptop. Do it right now. I don't do this enough. I'm gonna do this straight after this video. I'm gonna plug my hard drive in and I'm gonna back everything up. Also, if you have the time, you can go ahead and do a laptop clear out. That's just an extra suggestion. Make your desktop nice and pretty, you know. Wednesday is all about clearing and decluttering your workspace. So maybe this is a desk or an office or even your school bag. Go ahead, clear it up, clean it, make it pristine, get rid of the wrappers from your bag, whatever it is. Second thing I would recommend is to go through and try and sort out some of your paperwork because paperwork honestly is the worst. It collects so quickly and it makes such a mess and most of it's completely unnecessary. So if this is old notes you don't need anymore or you know, old bills that are suitable for shredding and getting rid of, junk, get rid. Goodbye, see you never. <laughs> Thursday is gonna be very different depending on your lifestyle and your age, but Thursday is all about finance. So I'm gonna keep this very simple as to not overcomplicate it. The first thing I recommend is if you do any kind of banking or paying bills, do it online because not only does this completely eliminate a lot of the paperwork, Secondly, some places will give you discounts for doing this and setting up direct debits. Like my gym offers me a discount for doing it like that. The next thing is budget. And I think no matter what your age or lifestyle, having a budget and saving a little bit of money by the end of the year is never a bad thing. So putting it very simply, I would just recommend having a goal of how much money you would like to save by the end of the year, breaking it down and realizing how much money you would have to save each month to achieve that goal. Evaluate what you've been spending your money on and what you could cut back on to be able to achieve that savings goal for the next month. Maybe you've been drinking too much coffee or buying too many clothes. We could all stand to cut back a little bit on the excess things that we don't need to spend money on. And finally, if you are a real life adult, I feel you. 
you got bills to pay, expenses, taxes, all of that kind of stuff. I found on Pinterest the other day a really cool resource, I'm going to link it in the description, and it's just about like incomings and outgoings and things like that and a way to set a budget. So check that out because it's a great place to start if you haven't got the budget in place yet. That was quite lengthy. So Friday is very simple. Friday is all about picking one area of your house and going and giving it a quick blitz. Maybe it's your bathroom, kitchen cabinets, fridge, bedroom. Set aside between 30 minutes to an hour, time it, and don't let yourself finish until it's done. Saturday is my favorite day because it's all about goal setting. I love organizing future plans, so this is a great thing to do. Let me start by saying any goals you set should be SMART goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. I talked a little bit about this in a previous video. If you want more information, I'll try and link that down below as well. So I've got some prompts for you here. The first thing is to set three goals that you want to achieve this year. Once you've decided on the goals, I want you to set three things that you can do to achieve them. So for example, if you want to learn film photography, your three things might be attend a photography class at the local college, watch three YouTube videos about film photography every week, and take out four books from the library about photography. I don't know, that's just a rough idea and you can make up whatever numbers you want. Those just came off the top of my head. But you can see where I'm going with this, right? And next I want you to do exactly the same thing but with monthly goals. So three monthly goals and three actions that you can do to achieve each of those goals. For example, it might be in the month of May you want to eat some healthier food and it could be try three new recipes or try and eat four salads a week or I don't know make sure you have an apple a day something like that like I said I will try and link that video down below if you want to do more goal setting but this is just a start so now we're at the end we're on Sunday and Sunday I believe should be about getting all of those chores done that you've left throughout the rest of the week sometimes it can be easy to do things in dribs and drabs I know that's been me this entire week because deadline season Season. it's been great it's been fun <laughs> but I promise you if you get all of the things you've been putting off done today then Monday will feel a whole lot better so maybe you need to do the laundry vacuuming scrubbing the toilet I don't know go ahead make a list I'd say list at least five things that you could go and do to make Monday feel better so that's it, you've made it. And if you followed this from Monday to Sunday, I'd love to know how you guys did. Do let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on social media and give me an update. I just, I wanna know. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to doing another one of these types of videos very soon. So I hope to see you in that one too and have a great week. Bye.